we want to use the method of proof by induction to prove that the sum of n squares can be found as follows. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared equals the product of n, the quantity n plus 1, and the quantity 2n plus 1, all divided by 6 for all natural numbers, and greater than or equal to 1. To begin the proof, for each n, let p of n be the statement which we are trying to prove. Again, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared equals the product of n, the quantity n plus 1, and the quantity 2n plus 1, all divided by 6. Next, we have the base case where we show that p of 1 is true, which is the statement 1 squared equals, subbing in 1 for n into the expression on the right side of the equation given by p of n. The expression simplifies to 6 divided by 6, which equals 1. 1 squared equals 1 is true, and therefore p of 1 is true. Now we have the inductive case where we let k be a natural number, k greater than or equal to 1, and we assume p of k is true, where p of k is the same statement as p of n, except instead of n, we use k. Now we need to show that p of the quantity k plus 1 is also true. To form the equation given by p of the quantity k plus 1, we add the square of the quantity k plus 1 to both sides of the equation given by p of k. And this is because the last term in the sum on the left side of the equation given by p of the quantity k plus 1 is the square of the quantity k plus 1. Adding this to both sides of the equation maintains a equality. From here, it's important to understand how we are going to show p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. And this is part of the planning when writing a proof by induction. If we take a look at the equations in the upper right hand corner, because we are assuming p of k is true, if we can show the right side of the equation of p of the quantity k plus 1 is in the exact same form as the right side of the equation of p of k, except for every k we have the quantity k plus 1 instead, we can conclude that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. So our ultimate goal is to show that the right side of the equation given by p of the quantity k plus 1 is in this form here, but it's going to be hard to recognize this form. Notice how if we simplify the factors in the numerator, we have a factor of k plus 1, we also have a factor of k plus 1 plus 1, which is k plus 2, and we have a factor of 2 times the quantity k plus 1 plus 1, which is the same as a factor of 2k plus 3. So this expression shown in the last step is going to be the expression we'll have right before we write the right side in the form that we need to show that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. For the most part, the rest of the proof is an algebraic challenge to manipulate the right side of the equation to make it match the form we need to show that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. To begin, we'll determine the sum on the right side of the equation by multiplying the square of the quantity k plus 1 by 6 over 6 so that we have a common denominator. For the next step, we'll add the two fractions on the right side of the equation. Now that we've added the two fractions on the right side of the equation, if we take a look at the sum in the numerator, Notice how the two products in the numerator have a common factor of k plus 1. Let's go ahead and factor out k plus 1 from the numerator on the right side of the equation. This gives us the quantity k plus 1 times the sum of the product of k and the quantity 2k plus 1 and 6 and the quantity k plus 1. The reason we wanted to factor out the k plus 1 is because remember, we do want a factor of k plus 1 in the numerator in our final step. And now we are going to simplify the expression inside the brackets. We will first clear the parentheses inside the brackets by distributing k and distributing 6. Inside the brackets, this gives us 2k squared plus k plus 6k plus 6. And now we'll combine the like terms inside the brackets. Inside the brackets, we now have 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. And this trinomial does factor. And again, looking at our notes here on the right, if the factors are k plus 2 and 2k plus 3, we will then be able to show p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. And the factors of 2k squared plus 7k plus 6 are the quantity k plus 2 and the quantity 2k plus 3. For the last step, we now need to write k plus 2 as the quantity k plus 1 plus 1, and we need to write 2k plus 3 in the form of 2 times the quantity k plus 1 plus 1. Now that we've done this, we can say that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true, completing the inductive case. Therefore, by mathematical induction, the statement p of n is true 
for all natural numbers n greater than or equal to 1. To write this proof, for the most part it was an algebraic challenge, but probably the most important part was to plan ahead and understand how to show that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. I hope you found this helpful.